listen to it on a vlog and a lot of my friends and followers and stuff on Twitter, Instagram, things like that were saying they miss my voice and would I do another vlog so here I am. What I have been doing recently is I've been vlogging, well it's not really vlogging but I've been taking videos on Snapchat um, just throughout my day when I'm out and about and I've been trying my best to do videos talking on my Snapchat a lot more often and the reason being is because I really truly believe that that can increase your confidence and if I just keep doing it every day or every second day or whatever I'll get used to talking on the camera and when I vlog it'll be less nerve wracking. Right now actually while I speak to you I'm actually quite nervous and I think it's because I've got the tripod set up and I've got my camera and it all just feels really, I don't know, really final and I think what I've been doing recently is I've been watching other people's vlogs on YouTube and stuff and feeling like, feeling like mine's pretty rubbish, it's pish basically, thinking that mine isn't professional enough, I'm not brilliant at editing, I've been getting my boyfriend to help me and stuff but it would be good to be able to do that on my own. I just think that I'm bringing myself down too much and I'm really, really trying to cut out all the negativity and just look forward to be honest. So my main reason for wanting to do a vlog today was because I just fancied a little ramble. I've took a day off the gym, I'm just going to have a rest day and I thought I would try different things with my makeup. So I've actually got blue eyeliner on today and I don't know how I'm feeling about it but hopefully I'm too far back and you can't see it. Um, so messing around with my makeup, basically doing nothing because I want to try and get some vlogging stuff out of the way. I was doing a thing on my Snapchat today and it's called Guess That Song with a wee hashtag sign and just trying to sing songs and see if people can guess what they are. Every time I do a YouTube video I watch it back and I look at myself and I say I know I can do better than that or why am I doing that and I cringe at myself especially speaking like I hate hearing myself talk but it's something that I want to overcome because I'm, re I'm really passionate about um, YouTube and singing and stuff like that and it's something I want to do so the more I do it oh, well hopefully the better it'll be and the easier it'll be. So my two little cats Milo and Gizmo and um, they're getting on, I say they're getting on fine they're starting to play together and it's good. Uh, to see them like that but they're not quite at the stage where they're best friends cuddling each other and stuff like that so they have their moments um, and if you have me on snapchat obviously you'll see that I actually made my snapchat public the other day it wasn't something that I was going to do but everyone kept telling me to do it and I've actually wrote a post about it which will be going live um, and it's just why I made my snapchat public um, I thought it was just like celebrities and stuff that did that but apparently loads of vloggers and vloggers have been doing it lately. So I've just put myself out there and made it public and hopefully people add me and they like what I do and if not then that's totally fine. I go into my reasons in the blog post why I didn't want to do it and I also go into the reasons why I've eventually done it. So I won't talk about that on here, I'll save that for my blog post. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. Something really, really, really exciting happened to me. Um, I've actually been working with a few brands, um, two of which I had approached myself which took a lot for me to do but they, they're all up for working with me and yeah so really excited about that but this other one is um, absolutely amazing and it's actually something that's going to be coming up on my YouTube as well so we'll watch this space and extremely nervous, excited, just all these different emotions, I'm buzzing about it. Basically they sent me an email and said that they'd stumbled across me and they really liked my originality and like they'd seen how much talent I had through like my writing and my singing and my poetry and my blog and they liked how honest I was and all this stuff and they just totally bigged me up and it made me feel absolutely amazing. Now this was my favourite brand that had messaged me Now I would never have thought to message them because they've got like 1.5 million followers and I'm just a little... I don't even know what word to use for myself. I'm just me, I'm just little old me and I'm absolutely, I'm a nobody. So I'm absolutely shocked that they messaged me and asked to work with me. So I've got something really exciting coming up on my YouTube and my blog and stuff. So just watch this space and I'm really excited to share it with you. And I just hope that I'm not going to end up giving you the anticlimax um, and you're disappointed. But honestly, I'm, I'll do my best. I'll pour my heart and my soul into it. And I'm just so glad and privileged and honoured to be able to work with such an amazing brand and it genuinely is my favourite brand. My cats just came in the garden so I might need to let them out. But then I don't want to move because every time I move I always end up getting really nervous again when I sit back down. But yeah, I had loads of things that I wanted to talk about and now that I'm sitting here in front of the camera with the tripod set up and all that jazz, I just haven't got a clue what I want to say. I'm off on holiday on the 11th of August and I turned 20 while I'm on holiday. 
on the 19th of August. So I'm leaving a teenager and I'm coming back an adult and it's terrifying. So I was saying to my boyfriend, you better make sure that it still feels like my birthday because I'm not going to have my mum and my dad for the first time ever on my birthday. And I just hope it feels like my birthday, but I'm sure he'll do something nice for me and I'll just take like my wee cards and that with me. Um, I just want to give a shout out to the lovely at symbol for Twitter, uh, Abba Louisa Rose. She is absolutely, she's just such a genuine, nice, kind hearted person. She um, she took part in my Bee Chat snail mail and we write letters to one another and we talk all the time on Twitter and now and again if I'm out or I'm unable to do Bee Chat she'll host it for me and look over things and make sure everything's running smoothly and she doesn't ever ask anything for it. She's just so, so nice and down to earth. So um, I received a parcel and the post and it was like do not open until August the 19th and I'm like what on earth and then it turns out she's actually sent me a little present Um, I don't know what it is I haven't got a clue and she sent that for me to open on my birthday and how nice is that like honestly I just I think the blogging community is beautiful I've met so many nice people and it just every day I get up and constantly check my Twitter see how everyone's doing and I check who I follow and keep up to date with their blogs and I just I, I've got so much love for each and every one of them and I haven't I haven't even met any of them. I've never been to a blogger event, I've never done anything like that. But these are all the kind of things that I want to do this year and I just think one day this year or next year I would absolutely love just to get a big gathering and meet everybody that I talk to every day because I feel like I know them and it would just be nice to put a face, well obviously I know what they look like but you know what I mean, get to meet them and see what they're really like in person. Um, but maybe not because maybe they'll hate me and they won't like me anymore because I talk too much and I ramble and I, I don't know. But I just wanted to say that I'm doing really well at the moment um, in terms of my depression and anxiety I'm doing really really well, I'm going to the gym as much as I can, maybe three times a week now but I used to go every day but I felt like I was just pushing myself too much um, so I try and go maybe three times a week and really really busy at the moment with my blog and working with brands and trying out different things and stuff so I've been really busy that way, obviously my Chat snail mail has kicked off in um, Honestly, there's like, I think there's maybe about 80 people now and I'm writing maybe three or four letters a day and personally I love it and it's brilliant, it keeps me going but it does keep me very busy and apart from the B-Chat snail mail I've obviously got my B-Chats twice a week as well so yeah, loads and I've obviously got to upkeep my blog, my YouTube channel but it sounds like a lot and it really is, it does take up so much of my time, it's really time consuming but like I wouldn't change it for the world. Blogging is the best thing that's ever happened to me and I really do believe that it's helped me with my depression and anxiety because I wake up every day and I know that there's something for me to do and I'm I'm doing it for myself and I do it just oh, I just love it so much. <laughs> I'm pure lost for words, but two seconds I need to go let my cat in. Just wanted to ask if anyone has any recommendations of a good camera, um please let me know. I do love my camera at the moment, it's a pretty colour and everything does the job, but it's just that I want one that you can see yourself on while you're talking, you know, one that flips out a little bit. Um because I think that would be a lot handier because I'm constantly needing to stand up to look outside to make sure that I think my cat was just sick. It's all good in the hood, he's alright. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, um, it's just that I want one that I can see myself on so that I don't need to constantly get up and check to make sure that half my head isn't cut out. Um, which I didn't just do there so I hope you can see me. So yeah, any good recommendations just let me know. Um, and I'm going to have a wee look on eBay and stuff to see if I can get a wee cheap second hand one or something before I go on holiday because I would I would ideally like to vlog when I'm on holiday but we'll just we'll see how it goes we'll see um my mum started a radiotherapy this week um actually yesterday and she's away just now getting her second session of it done it's just to go every day for the next month apart from the weekend so my heart bleeds for her I just like she doesn't deserve it and I just feel bad because She's such a sensitive wee soul and she's pretending she's fine, but to be honest with you, I don't really know if she's fine. Um, I don't know, I think she just puts on a brave face, but I think inside it's killing her, like, not, that's a bad expression to use. I think inside it's, like, beating her up. Um, and, like, I want to be there for her, but I don't really know how. But, yeah, I'll keep you up to date how she's doing. She's fine. Um, she had an operation, just getting the radiotherapy as a precaution, because I think that's just something that everybody that's had cancer, they need to go through that. Um, oh, and I want to say thank you because I reached 1,000 followers on Twitter and I'm actually, as I speak, I'm at like 1,100 and something now. So it's absolutely mental. So, so, so chuffed. Didn't think I'd ever reach that. Um, don't know why people are following me, but thank you very much. And my Snapchat's kicking off. Instagram, I'm like 
doing really well as well and I've not even really been promoting things like that recently because I felt like it was annoying constantly scheduling tweets saying please like my Instagram, please like my Facebook page so I'm just letting it all come naturally now and if you want to then of course you can and I always post a link at the bottom of my blog page anyway for people if they want to. So yeah I might go put my wee jammies on now and relax, the only reason I got changed was because I was doing a vlog and I just shoved this little top on which I've not worn absolutely ages but I'm chuffed because it matches my nails quite good. I didn't even mean that at all. So yeah, I'm going to go, maybe tidy my room, have a productive day, do a lot of reading, which I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of reading lately. Um, yeah, just going to have a really good, nice day at home. It's been ages since I've done that. I used to stay in my room every single day as well for like months and months on end, not go out anywhere and now this is my first day in in a while, just sitting in for the whole day on my own with my cats. So I'm actually looking forward to it and I know I've got loads to do so I'm going to love you and leave you, thank you for watching my vlog and I would be absolutely pleased if you could leave me a little comment just saying hello even or enjoy watching your video, that would be really nice, I love hearing from you and until next time, bye bye.